Yeah, so one of the, I think, fun things about the fields of amyloidosis is this collaboration. You really need a multidisciplinary collaboration. In fact, hopefully it's beyond just the hematologists and the cardiologists and is going to include, say, nephrologists and gastroenterologists and, of course, uh, experienced pathologists and so on. Uh, but at the core is the hematologist and the cardiologist, uh, certainly for AL patients. And the, the key with AL patients, you know, this is a, I like to say that for ATTR amyloidosis, it's a disease that we need to democratize the diagnosis and treatment of because it is actually not that rare and at least as of now it's actually not that hard to treat and I say actually for AL amyloidosis we maybe need to do the opposite and that is to have it really be cared for at uh, centers of excellence for the disease by hematologists who are really knowledgeable and used to caring for patients with the disease and not treating it the same as just myeloma in terms of the targets for example and then cardiologists who really have a lot of experience treating these patients which who are, who are very, very different phenotypically from other heart failure patients. Um, so having a close collaboration in really an amyloid center of excellence between one or more hematologists committed to the disease, one or more cardiologists committed to the disease, and then again, other specialties is really the only way to ensure that patients will uh, get state-of-the-art therapy.